Okay, in this video we are looking at Metafloit's incognito module. So I'm assuming you already have a, a interpreter shell to a victim machine. So with that said, we need to go ahead and load our incognito. So we do that by load incog you know and that should show success so once we do that let's go ahead and list the tokens that we have so that's list underscore token and we're going to do it with a u I keep doing that tokens and it will show you what tokens and you'll notice that we have no tokens to impersonate if we pay attention and do this long enough we may capture some sadly we do not have any in tokens to impersonate so our lab stops here but if we had the ability to impersonate a token we could impersonate it and the command for that is impersonate token and then from there you would type in the appropriate server slash slash user for us to put in so let's assume we were going to impersonate this guy one of the problems is on certain systems you may need two slashes. The first slash will uh, escapes the second so that the second slash actually shows as a true character. You'll notice this one shows that we are not currently running a system so we don't get access to all of the appropriate resources that we would want. Even though we successfully impersonated a user, we're not an administrator. Even though our student account is an administrator, our current token for our user is not an admin token. And that's actually it for our incognito. Thank you.